the event today is partly the sponsored walk, um, raising money for the Cortan Arts. However, it's also about getting people out walking because exercise is, you know, better than any pill. I'm really looking forward to this walk because the sun has shone for us on um, International Mental Health Day. So we're going to have a lovely walk. We're going to walk through some of the most beautiful and historic parts of Southwark and I think that is going to be really, really interesting. Is It's it's all about, it's called the Largactyl Shuffle. Just tell people, this is Cool Town, Cool Town Arts, which has, a, it's a small charity, doesn't have much, but we're trying to get as much as we can and make awareness to as many people as we can. And I think, as I'm talking to you here, the walk is going to start in a minute. So I think I'm going to have to now go and take my place. So we're going to set off the group with Ari first. Because the faster group with the less talk will, of course, walk faster. Is that right? I think so. Well, and there's somebody here who'd like to say something. So let's shuffle all the way to the tape. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Especially I found when you see a psychiatrist, some of the time they don't take you very seriously. Because, you know, they think you're all, you know, nuts, nuts and yeah. kiki and stuff. When you're like approaching them with a serious The other thing about it is it's where the camber well is supposed to be. What was his back garden? And they found it again. And it was in use. There's photographs of it. They had a donkey walking around in a circle, pumping up the water. There was a film I don't know you may have seen with Nigel Hawthorne and Helen Mirren called the Yes, the Madness of King George. I was going to go on to. They believed he had porphyria which happens to be a genetic disease, but it kind of man manifested itself towards his, when he was, well, in his 50s. So um, psychiatrists and doctors just a few years ago thought that was rather odd and they found a sample of his hair. And they discovered there were large traces of arsenic, 300 times higher than the toxic levels. So they thought, how is this possible? In his hair? Yes. Good Lord. So in fact, when he was being treated for his madness, they gave him a powder called St. Um, James's powder or fever powder. And apparently it was made from antimony, but it had traces of arsenic, but it was very popular during that time. But as a result of King George III, so I'm leaving something to do with the mental health, he actually helped to change attitudes towards mental health because people realized that anybody really could be affected, even the king. That's very interesting. So now we're going to carry on towards um, Burgess Park. my old primary school for two years when I come from uh, Somerset. I think too many thoughts, but if I really try, then oh so very neat and organised am I. And I've just got one more piece. And, uh, I enjoy work, I enjoy listening to the significance of historical places and you know it, it's so enjoyable things which you don't didn't see before you see when you are walking work 
work out how close it would be. Yeah, this is on the right is the school that celebrates the whole of the Trafalgar battle thing. There was some admiral or somebody lived around here at one time. This on the left with the bus parked in strange places is Haygate Street. It's going to get renamed to Haygate Boulevard. You know Charles Dickens people, you should know him like with the books like Oliver Twist and Scrooge, Christmas Carol. He used to come round here and uh, celebrate and, and he's still doing the walk. I think at the moment we are coming up here and I think we're going to go up to Borough and hopefully to the market, certainly past Guy's Hospital and then up round to Cape Orton. This is a little reenactment of Keith. Okay, so I'm sitting here on the lunatic's chair. It seems without care in the world. I'm a medical student, I'm going to go far. It's written in my destiny. The problem is, all I want to do is write poetry. Up and down the wards I go of this great establishment named after a man called Guy. I really don't know why. I've been on several walks like this before and I like the fact that it ends up at the, t the Tate Modern because I can um, afterwards go around the free exhibitions there, so that's quite interesting. and some speeches and some more interesting stuff to find out about. Well, I've just heard today that he's well on his way. He'll be passing through Acton at one. <laughs> passing through Acton at one. <laughs> Staff and volunteers and everyone who's made today possible, that would be fantastic. <laughs> 